Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome back to Storytime. Today we're going to be talking about things that we're good at. Things called talents. What are you good at? Green Bear is really good at counting. And Monkey is really good at sports. And Mr. Carrot is very good at spelling. Imagine that, a carrot that can spell. Mm -hmm. We're going to be looking at another parable, which is a kind of story that Jesus told to help explain things to people. And this story is the parable of the talents. The story starts with a rich man who was getting ready to go on a long journey. He gathered together three of his helpers and asked them to help look after his money. He gave one helper five bags of money. He gave another helper two bags of money. And he gave the last helper one bag of money. He gave them the money based on their talents and what they were able to do. And then he went on his journey. The helper who got five bags of money used it to make more money. And soon he had twice as much as he had started off with. The helper who was given two bags of money, worked really hard and also doubled his money. So he had four bags of money. But the helper who had been given one bag of money went away and buried it. When the rich man came back from his travels, he gathered up his helpers to see what had happened to his money. His first helper was able to say, I've made twice as much money. I doubled the money that you gave me. Here are 10 bags of money in return. Well, the rich man was really proud of him, really pleased with what he'd done with his money. The next helper told him that he had earned two more bags of money by working really hard. He had doubled his money too. The rich man was really pleased with him too and gave him lots more important jobs to do. Then the last helper was brought to the man and he told him that he had buried the money because he didn't want to lose it. This made the rich man really cross. He told the man that he was lazy and he didn't deserve the money. So he gave the money to the first helper who had worked so hard. God gives all of us different kinds of talents, different things we're good at. Did you notice that in the story, not everyone was given the same amount of money? In the same way, God gives us different talents in different amounts. Some people might be really smart. Some people might be really good at running. Some people might be really kind and friendly. They're all different, but they're all important. Our talents grow when we use them. The helper in the story who buried his money ended up having it taken away because he didn't use it. Jesus wants us to use our talents, no matter what they are, not to bury them in the ground, to use them for the good of his kingdom. I hope you enjoyed that story. And here's another one.
I'm going to read you a poem now by a lady called Julia Donaldson and it's called How Does Your Garden Grow? The very first thing that a gardener needs is a hoe for pulling up all the weeds. So here we go, a hoeing o, hoeing the garden to make it grow. A spade comes next for digging the earth. Let's dig and shovel for all we're worth. So here we go, a digging o, oh, digging the garden to make it grow. Put down the spade, pick up the rake, and rake it smooth as a crumbly cake. So here we go, a raking o, oh, raking the garden to make it grow. We've raked. We've dug, we've weeded the ground. It's time to scatter some seeds around. So here we go, a sowing, oh, sowing the garden to make it grow. Those seeds are feeling thirsty, I think. We better give them a nice long drink. So here we go, a watering, oh, watering the garden to make it grow. I'm looking forward to planting some seeds in the springtime to see them grow over the summer and maybe you will too. I hope you've enjoyed our stories today and we'll see you next week.